you're discussing are meta transaction relayers. Uh, so what are meta transactions first? Uh, meta transactions enable fundless key pairs to uh, use smart contracts. Uh, rather than spending gas, they sign their intended action using their private key, and then a relayer broadcasts this on their behalf and pays the associated fees. Uh, so at Bloom, in the past year, we've submitted over 250,000 uh, meta transactions on mainnet, sometimes as high as 6,000 6, meta, uh, meta transactions in a single day. Uh, during this time, we were spending up to uh, one to three ETH per day just to keep our uh, meta transaction relayers going. Uh, this has to do with like uh, identity credential issuance. Um, so, what we learned pretty early on is that simply broadcasting the transactions does not scale. You can't just call web3.send or web3.estimategas and hope that it's going to work. Uh, confirmation times are long and they're inconsistent. Gas prices can be volatile, and there are frequently chain reorgs which drop transactions. Uh, so the first thing that we uh, encoded into this service, which uh, handles uh, very high volume of transactions, um, is nonce forecasting. So uh, the, the, in this simple case on the left, you can see that uh, we broadcast one transaction with nonce 1001, and everything else is blocked. Um, so they can't all be mined in the same block. Instead, what you can do is use the nonce field of send transaction so that you can do 1001 through 1005, and you can have all of these happen in the same block without waiting for mining. When there is a nonce that's blocking the next one, so if we're waiting for 1002 to mine, we need to aggressively rebroadcast that transaction with a higher gas price until it goes through. So this happens uh, in the service every 30 seconds, it rebroadcasts with a 0.1 way higher gas price. Um, in order to uh, force it through so that every other transaction is no longer blocked. Uh, we found that on average, each transaction needed to be broadcast twice to go through. So this, when I, I set up this uh, in Elasticsack. Um, when I looked in the morning, this looked healthy to me. Uh, there were transactions being created on the bottom, and then they were being committed or rebroadcast on the top. Um, gas prices sometimes spike very high, but it's important to set a cap and wait it out because gas prices are volatile, uh, but if we filter out everything above 100 way, it's actually pretty consistent. Uh, so if you were spending, you know, maybe somebody had some arbitrage opportunity way back in, a, in a February, you didn't want to be competing with them for gas, just wait a little bit, um, and then you can get your transaction through. Uh, our actual spending ended up being far less than the average, but we still had very high throughput. Uh, also during, uh, when the network is very congested, mining will sometimes lag by many hours, um, and you might be concerned that it'll never catch up, but as soon as uh, the network congestion goes away, the backlog clears, and then your uh, broadcasting and mining times get much closer together. Uh, one last thing that you also should look for um, is chain reorgs. So if first you think that something was mined, but later your transactions are not being broadcast, you should look, go back and look at the most recent transactions, see if it was dropped, and then you can either fill it with a dummy transaction, a zero value transaction, or you can actually go back and rebroadcast that one. Um, so uh, finally, I just open sourced this about 10 minutes ago. It's this service that actually handles all this logic for you. And uh, it's very Bloom specific now. You actually have to encode a lot of the uh, contract logic, but I would love to have, try to get some other companies set up with this service. Um, it does a lot of uh, it handles a lot of core cases that took us a while to, uh, to figure out. So please take a look. Um, it uses PGBoss for the queuing. It's all TypeScript. Uh, we use TypeChain for uh, contract typings. Um, check it out, and I'd really like to help you with it. Thanks.